Hello, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel. I thank you for viewing my videos today. I'm in the beautiful, spectacular country of the Fiji Islands here in the Pacific Ocean. And I'm in the capital of Fiji, Suva, a city of 200,000 people. Now, Suva is located in the largest island in Fiji, Viti Levu. I'm in the center of Suva and I'm visiting the Fiji Museum, a remarkable place here if you want to learn something about Fiji's long history here in the Pacific Ocean. So joining me for the next few minutes, I will take you for a speaking tour of three of the galleries here, the History Gallery, the Maritime Gallery, and also the Massey Gallery, and I will explain to you what that is. So this is Vic, let's go for a tour, a walking tour of this remarkable place right here in the center of Thurston Gardens, very close to the center of Suva. You will really enjoy this. Let's do it. And uh, here is the first section that we are going to visit, the History Gallery. And this uh, gallery examines Fijian culture and technology and its influence to Tonga and Samoa. Let's go look at a few of the items here and I will explain to you what you are looking at. But here is a general view of this section and there is more parts over here. Here is a water pot from Fiji, 17th or 18th century. And uh, here are a couple of samples of Lapita pottery. We've seen Lapita pottery in Vanuatu as well. And these are two beautifully preserved samples. And these are about 3,000 years old. Look at that. And uh, here you can see some baskets brought to Fiji from Tonga in the 18th century. And uh, here is a Fijian headrest or kali as it is called and what you see on the horizontal piece where the head would rest are inlays of uh, whale's teeth. What a beautiful piece right there. And uh, here is an axe with a wide blade that you can see there. This one is probably about 200 years old or more. And uh, let's look at some uh, pieces of pottery here found in the beautiful city of Sigatoka, which is here in the island of Viti Levu, the largest of the Fiji Islands. And Sigatoka is famous for its uh, sand dunes and a lot of excavations have been uh, performed over the last few years and these uh, pieces of pottery that you see here were discovered in Sigatoka and they are believe it or not about 16th centuries old give or take 100 years 1600 years old here's the first one let's look at some more And uh, here's uh, something that I have not seen before. This is the breast plate, most likely worn by a chief. This is from Tonga. And the description here it says that the uh, four parts on the outer perimeter are made out of uh, whale's teeth and the center is from pearl. 
and this uh, breastplate was used uh, or worn by the chief either as armor or during certain events and celebrations but here it is its diameter is probably about 20 centimeters no more than eight inches and uh, here's a throwing club made out of a single piece of hardwood and uh, when thrown with great velocity can deliver a deadly blow to the enemy here it is and uh, here you can see a couple of uh, war clubs used during a battle they are made out of uh, coconut stems they are about a meter in length each and they were used somewhere in the mid 1800s and uh, here is another beautiful throwing club much bigger than the one we looked at and you can imagine when this club is thrown if it hits the enemy it really delivers a deadly blow the front part that you see the round part is about 15 centimeters in diameter right there and uh, here's a shallow dish for kava drink from the 1770s from Tonka and the drink would be mixed in the dish here and it would be drunk by using reeds as straws or by slurping the drink from the edges of the dish here and uh, here we can see two more headrests for high ranking officials the one on top is from a single piece of hardwood and the one on the bottom you can see whales teeth inlaid on the horizontal part where the head would rest now I have moved up to the uh, first floor and this is the remarkable Massey M-A-S-I gallery what's happening here is they have uh, created a gallery here of clothing or dresses from the 19th century and uh, as it was explained to me these dresses are made out of bark from wood it goes through a very long process let's go look at a few of them and keep in mind these are made out of wood they are absolutely beautiful And in this last part of this documentary, we're going to look at the Mori Time Gallery, which is on the ground floor and which displays items from Fiji's long tradition with the sea. Let's walk around for a few minutes and see what's here.
Now here you see the Drua, D-R-U-A, or a canoe. A double hulled canoe, you can see one, two hulls right here. This canoe was built in 1913 and it's a relatively small canoe considering the canoes that the Fijians were building in the 1800s that would cross the oceans towards all directions. This one is about 14 meters in length and usually the large canoes that would cross the oceans would be about 35 meters, anywhere from 25 to 35 meters. Let's walk around and let's look at this remarkable canoe or drua here. Let's walk all around. You can see the sails right here on this side, right there. Sails made out of straw right there. And you can see these oars that you see here are from larger canoes that don't belong to this one. But it will be steered by changing the direction of the sail. Look at this. Imagine crossing the Pacific, going towards Samoa or Tonga on a 35 meter almost a hundred foot canoe like this one. The platform on top where people would sit is about five meters by four meters. Look at this. This was acquired by the museum here in 1980 and it's one of the last remaining double haul canoes in Fiji. A true jewel in the collection here. Let's take another view so you can get an idea. I try to imagine now this canoe crossing the Pacific going from uh, Suva here to Tonga. Right there. Magnificent. And uh, here is a canoe wooden canoe built out of a single tree trunk right there it's about eight meters in length and uh, these canoes here you can imagine this is an original canoe by the way you can imagine these canoes crossing the oceans from one island to the other and they were used for several purposes for transporting things from one island to the other or for fishing, mainly turtles. And finally, in times of war. Let's take another view of this remarkable canoe here. Right there, look at it. And uh, here's another remarkable raft. This is a house raft and it will be used by the uh, people living inland to transport their goods and the farm produce to the markets, to the coast. This is an original one that you can see how big it is. It's probably about 10 meters in length, about 30 feet in length. You can imagine everything here, all the produce placed over here and live animals here. People would be sleeping inside this hut. Here's another view of it, absolutely remarkable. And uh, here is a beautiful view of the famous landmark of the clock tower here in Suva. And behind it you can see the red building which is the Fiji Museum.
they would just visit it. And both the clock tower and the Fiji Museum are located inside Thurston Gardens, the botanical gardens here in the center of Suva, the capital of Fiji. And it is an absolutely beautiful setting. Right there. This is Vic. I hope you enjoyed this brief tour of this wonderful museum here at the island of Viti Levu in Fiji, the capital of Suva, the city of Suva. Bye bye.